So Mark Gurman is speculating that later on this year, we're gonna be getting a brand new set of iPad Pros. And in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly what we can expect in terms of design and hardware features that are coming to these brand new iPad Pros, starting off with the design. Back in 2018, Apple updated the iPad Pros with a brand new squared off aluminum enclosure, thin same size bezels all the way around and they added the M1 chip to these devices. Now this year we expect Apple to keep around that same thin aluminum squared off design language like they've brought to the iMac, the iPhone, and even the MacBook Pro in a way. But this year we expect to see MagSafe coming to the iPad Pros and this goes in line with what Apple has been doing throughout the years, right? They remove ports, they remove features, they wanna make their devices more simple and more streamlined so MagSafe may be coming to these new iPad Pros. Now in terms of the biggest update in terms of internals, we expect these new iPads to ship with the M2 chip and the M2 chip is gonna be very similar to Apple's M1 chip that they have in the iPad Air, iPad Pro, MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, basically they use this chip everywhere and they're also gonna be shipping these brand new iPad Pros with this M2 silicon. Now the M2 chip has the same 8 core CPU as the M1, but it is going to have a 4 nanometer process, which is going to increase the speed and increase the power efficiency. In terms of GPU, you're going to get a 9 or a 10 core version, unlike the M1 that had a 7 or an 8 core. So when you look at the M1 iPad Pros right now, they have the 8 core GPU, which is the fastest version of the M1. The M2 is going to knock it out of the water. It's going to be faster, it's going to be more power efficient, and it's going to be the same chip that Apple is going to put in the MacBook Air. We expect the MacBook Airs and the iPad Pro to ship with the same M2 silicon around the same time. And I wouldn't be surprised if Apple had an event between September and November to announce not only the iPad Pros, but the MacBook Airs. And if you're curious about what features are gonna to come to the MacBook Air, check out this video I made on the MacBook Air and what we expect for this year. And I'll see you guys over there. Peace.